evening, everybody, and welcome to Dialogue here on JCN. I'm your host, A12 Pinder, and I am very happy because I am finally back at Pop-Up Studios. It's been about two years, and they have got an upcoming art exhibit that is just going to be fantastic. And I am joined again as well, and I have to say, got to put it all out there, conflict of interest and all that. This is my cousin, and I'm so proud of him. So I have uh, Monsieur Dylan Rapier, who's here, and his uh, wonderful partner in this exhibit, Ms. Dee Dee Brown. And they have got a very um, provocative title for their show, which I think, and it is Peep Show. Which I just love, this, right, Peep Show? I'm, I'm Peep on the right, show, yep, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is great. So we're just going to start at the beginning, which is how did you guys come up with a, this is the, the idea of your, your art show? Um, well, I guess we kind of wanted to continue with the theme from last year. And while I don't find our work that controversial, <laughs> it is in this country. And so we kind of want to keep playing off of that because it does, it does draw a crowd. It does create some hype and yes. you know, interest. So we thought it might be good this year to um, have an enticing title, you know, that doesn't necessarily, you don't have to literally think of, you know, a peep show when you right. see the work, but the idea is that, um, you know, it is provocative, it is sexual, and yeah. but people can take from it what they want, so. And I mean, what I like with it, regardless of the perhaps sexual connotation that sometimes comes with it, it's just that whole concept of voyeurism that you were looking at something, and with artwork, so often I feel that I am looking at the artist's soul in some way, or you guys have put something out there, which is incredibly personal. And so maybe it's almost also, at least for me, it's sort of that other side of the concept of a peep show. You're seeing something that not everybody always gets to see. And so, at least for me, I love the concept of it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, how long have you guys been working on this? Um, since the beginning of the year. Okay, so, and this is, yeah. I mean, this is just the thing when you're doing these art shows. I think sometimes a lot of us non-artists are like, oh, they take a week, they, they throw some stuff up, and then boom, it comes out. But this is a really, it's a half a year process, essentially, to get one of these things together. Yeah, yeah. we've been preparing the work mentally, um, getting, uh, getting images together from before um, the end of last year, from about November, and then um, finalizing our ideas, and then getting them onto sketches, um, studies, and then final pieces um, after that, trying to fine tune the process that we're gonna be working on, and then, pushing out a solid solid grouping of, of work. Of work. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, Dylan, I wanted to talk to you because one of the other great things with this is, and TD, I'm going to talk to you too because sure. I know some of your pieces are in wood and things are different, but you have this really interesting process, and this is one of these things. As somebody who's a scientist and really has the creativity of, of a piece of wood, I always find it so amazing when people aren't just even just painting or drawing, but you're doing all sorts of things. So walk me through the process. I don't know, everybody, is, as we're talking, you'll see that there'll be images displayed and we've got these great pictures behind us, but you've got this big, big guy behind us over here where you can really see that, that there's this wonderful print that's sort of behind it and then there's a painting on top of it and we've got smaller ones with it too. Mm -hmm. Walk me through this process of how this printing is done. So the idea behind these pieces is that um, in some cases, what I've done is I've print, actually printed the, uh, printed the ink onto the canvas. I work at Bahama Hand Prints. I'm the master printer there. And uh, <coughs> we do screen printing. So what I've done is I've taken designs that I've created and other people have created at Hand Prints and used the actual fabric from Bahama Hand Prints to then use as a background and then do my image on. So what I'll do is I'll, um, is I'll paint out white the area that I want the image, my image to be, and then paint on top of that. And I mean, at least for me, it's kind of fun because I remember, and I know this is a very different process, but I just love the whole fabric incorporate, incorporation. I remember going to Androsia in eighth grade or sixth grade of high school, mm -hmm. you know, and just being like, oh my goodness, look, you know, they're actually creating artwork on a, on a piece of clothing mm -hmm. or, or whatever it happens to be. And you can see sort of the different steps in the process that Dylan is using here and that you've got, so this would be the first step so almost. That's, that's what's called a screen. That's um, the lighter areas of the screen let ink pass through. And what I'll do is I'll just push a squeegee with ink on it through that through that screen and then it'll leave an impression so you'll see that screen will actually make that pattern right there ah so and so you can do different colors and different and things with the same the ah. same image the same image That's can great. be repeated in a different color with streaks in the middle however you want it and um, so you can choose your color beforehand it saves 
drawing it every time. So yeah. you, you, draw it, you draw it once, and then once you've drawn it by, um, by hand. So these are all, as I said, designs that I've drawn up. I've designed the patterns, drew them up, put them on the screen, then print them. And um, after that, I'll paint on them. I kind of wanted to integrate my job, as, it, as the title is, Peep Show, I guess. I kind of wanted to bring my profession into my work, kind of merge both of them, because they're both artistic in, in essence. So I wanted to integrate them both and make the work follow through that. And I like this, I mean, because then too, you get a peep into your different lives. Exactly. You get a peep into your, per your work, work, professional yeah. life, and you get a peep into you and all of that. That's really, I love that. That melding. See, things are so great when you're talking to creative, artistic people. Um, and now, Didi, I gotta ask you. So, mm -hmm. obviously, I have loved your artwork for so long. And Thank the you. wonderful thing, if you guys don't know Didi's artwork, it changes all the time. I mean, you have got some great, wonderful, traditional Bahamian sort of figures. I don't even know, portraits, but you were yeah. portraits where you're just capturing, I think, Bahamian life sort of in people's eyes and in their their faces. And this is completely different, yeah. at least for me. Oh, it is. For sure, for sure. Um, and you're using different media, so how is all of this going for you? Um, well, you know, it's, it's always fun to sort of um, experiment and kind of, it's good to stick with the same thing and sort of build on it. And that's kind of what I'm doing by keeping, in keeping with the cherry and puppet theme. But I thought one way I could make that different was experimenting with different media. So. Um, what I've done in this piece here in particular is um, I'm using wood um, and basically it's ink and oil on wood. So the black areas, it's basically ink is just bleeding into the wood and I just, I don't uh, know. I was so that's how you get sort of that almost smudgy, non-super right, like, delineated effect. Exactly. And, and you know, and I feel like with a lot of my other cherry pieces, they're very, there's, there's so much detail and they're so exact and it's a challenge for me to sort of let go of that. So ah. this is a pro, this this is a this piece is like a test for me to sort of let go of that you Sweet. know. So we're getting a, a peep into the challenges that Dee Dee is is overcoming or facing as a as an artist. Yeah. And I mean, you have all these. Is how did you get this concept of the the puppet dolls? And I do have to say, I am I'm sitting sort of in the puppet seat here. You can see that you could use the strings to, to maybe make me be quiet potentially, but. Um, <laughs> But you have, obviously, is that, how did you come up with that as the concept for this? Well, basically, it's um, sort of me making fun of pop culture, women in pop culture, okay. um, the fashion industry. I'm, I'm fascinated with um, just looking at magazine spreads and seeing all these models in these positions. And to me, they, you know, they're trying to sell something, but they don't look real at all. There's nothing right. real, really, about their presentation. So this is sort of my interpretation of that and in a way I'm kind of making fun of it you know just I love it no that's any uh any particular I mean we have one here she's balancing a cherry on her nose we've got a lady she's got a whole handful and it's obviously covering a sexual area of the body she's about to be eating a cherry when she's finished I assume yeah any specific themes that you're going with with what the cherries are are doing in the different pictures well what's so fun about the cherry as an object is that people can really just read so much into it so even if there's not something there as well which is yeah. kind of fun too yeah, yeah. so that's pre pretty much like the, the idea in these pieces it's also you know it's a playful image and it, yeah. it allows me I just I've enjoyed kind of you know, just taking an image and figuring out how I can incorporate the cherry into that and just how it changes so dramatically, you know, when you just add that one little element. So that's sort of the idea. And, well, I'm not seeing a lot of cherries in your work, Dylan, I don't think, or maybe I see one no, or two. No cherries. But maybe no there. cherries, okay. Um, but obviously you guys have a theme of color right. for this. And this is just, I, I, the curtains from a peep show, well, what was the decision to go with the red? How did that come about? Or did that not come about and it just sort of organically it occurred? It organically occurred. Yeah. Um, That's great. I think that, well, from Dee Dee's, Dee Dee's work is mainly black and white and then she has that accent of red, um, that hint of red coming from her cherries and other elements in her pieces sometimes. And I felt that um, the pink tones and red, the red, color um, kind of brings Dee Dee's work into it and um, has a very sexual feel to it. Yeah. It's very uh, uh, pink. It's pink. <laughs> it's pink. You're right. It's, no. And, you know, if you think about 
you know, anytime uh, you see a show, you know, the, or at least, the, I mean, not that I've ever seen a peep show, I do have to put that out there, but this whole concept <laughs> of even when you go to the theater, though, there's the big red velvet curtain, so mm -hmm. again, you're unveiling, sort of the red's unveiling what that work is, which I'm, see, I'm doing what we all do. We read much more into things than with possibly even it's, there. It's, and, yeah. and that's what art's all about, I, I, I think. I think that it's important for people to take their own interpretation from work. What the artist intended isn't necessarily what you perceive. And that perception that you have is, is important to you and you alone. And I think that's very important that people have different perceptions of a certain theme or a certain image. And that's the beauty of artwork, I think. I think that sometimes other people's interpretation of my work is a lot more interesting than what I intended, <laughs> what I intended it to be. That's great. You're like, yes, okay. If you say so. That's, yes. that's true. If you say so. If you see it that way, yeah. that's what it is. Um, to you, at least. I mean, and you are the one that's important in this case for the viewer. Yes, and I, I love that. Bit. And then it does, it gives us a special importance. Um, we are going to take a quick break, but come back with us afterwards. I realize we haven't talked about dates or actual locations specifically, so we're going to get into all the details about that as well, talk some more about this creative process.